Vacation season is now in full swing, which means for anyone booking their summer trips, you'll want to watch out for schemes trying to steal your money or information. 27 First News reporter Brittany Bessal joins us live now in studio. She talked with a local expert about how to avoid those schemes and the safest ways to book your vacations. Brittany, what'd you find out? Well, vacation schemes to steal your money or information can happen in many ways, whether you are booking your trip online or you receive that call or email telling you that you want to cruise. I'm sure many of you have had that happen before, but there are some things you can do to avoid those schemes, like get the details of your trip in writing so you can make sure you are getting what you paid for. Always do your research and check the reputation of any website or company that you are booking through. Now, I sat down with a local expert from the Better Business Bureau who tells me you also want to be careful of the way you book your vacation. One thing you might want to consider as you're booking your vacation is you might want to put this on a traditional credit card. Mm -hmm. um, again, if something arises and there is a problem, you can dispute the charge with a credit card company, whereas you don't have that option if you're paying with a debit card or by check. Melissa also says if someone emails or calls and offers you a vacation package, never give any information to them without checking to make sure that it's legit. A couple of other good tips if you are booking a vacation overseas or a trip with several stops, you may want to consider booking through a travel agency and getting travel insurance. Live in studio, Brittany Bissell, 27 First News this morning.